Well, hey there, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. Tommy the Trail Dog and myself want to thank you guys for two years here on YouTube. This is our two-year anniversary over here at Gideon's Tactical. We've been on YouTube for two years now. Been cranking out reviews, particularly for knives. You know, that's my sweet spot. I love blades. I'm addicted to blades. But also, you know, a lot of other gear out there on the market. You know, backpacks, guns, uh, hammocks. I mean, you name it. Uh, and it's been a blast. I lo have loved every minute of it. Don't mind the camera shaking. That's a little Tommy chewing on a stick. Had to move Tommy. Tommy's paws out of the way a little bit from the tripod so that we could continue filming. But uh, ultimately, I just want to say thank you to all you guys as we celebrate the second year anniversary here at Gideon's Tactical. It's you guys. It's you, the subscribers, the viewers, those who comment, share, and like the videos. Uh, I mean, it's for you guys that we started this channel, and I appreciate you so much. All the kind words that you guys uh, say, you know, the support that you show uh, me and the whole crew over here at Gideon's Tactical, Tommy the Trail Dog, my other uh, camera guys, my buddy Brian, uh, Ethan Jones, uh, my wife, uh, Ashley, I mean just all of us really appreciate you guys out there and it's for you that I do this channel that I come out here that I film you know my adventures the things that I'm doing uh, is so that you guys can make wise purchasing decisions you know helping you guys pr choose the perfect knife for you p uh, pick the perfect multi-tool show you you know things to stay away from help you you know with purchasing a firearm your packs your you know tents your flashlights all that type of stuff so that you guys aren't stuck with crappy gear or a piece of gear that's not gonna you know work well for you so I just again want to thank you all so much you guys are awesome and I appreciate you and I can't wait to see what 2014 into 2015 as we start the third year of Gideon's Tactical uh, is and what you know what we do here and what happens I mean it's gonna be awesome and again you guys are amazing I'm so blessed to have you guys uh, as viewers subscribers those who support this channel um, yeah, I'm just, I just thank God every day for you guys, and it's awesome to, to have this family and this community here at Gideon's Tactical. So what I want to do today is uh, not only show you guys just a bunch of footage, we're going to put some music behind it and just show some bloopers and some you know good times out here over the last year uh, that we've celebrated here at Gideon's Tactical, just doing stuff, and so you guys can kind of just see some back behind the scenes footage and stuff here in just a moment. But before we do that, um, I have all the time you guys asking me, you know, what if you could pick one knife, what would it be? If you could pick one multi-tool, what, what could it be? What gun? What fill in the blank? So I wanted to take this time, I thought about it, and I was like, what if I could only have one of a few items, what would they be? So the first I wanted to start with was a pocket knife. If uh, you were to take away all the pocket knives that I own that we've reviewed here on the channel, and you were like, you can have one pocket knife uh, for the foreseeable future. It would probably have to be, in fact, it would be the Spyderco Manix Lightweight. This thing is awesome. Uh, in fact, let me show it to you really up close up and personal, and we'll move on to the next item. So real fast, I mean, the main reason I love this Spyderco is because it's got that full flat grind. I love Spyderco in general. They just make really good quality stuff. The BD1 tool steel not only is almost impervious to, to rust, uh, I can easily field sharpen it, and it will hold a really good edge. It definitely holds its edge as well as my VG10 Delica, um, you know, four or other models like that, and it's very, very easy to field sharpen. I love the kind of ball bearing lock that they have here, very similar to an axe this lock that you get on a bench made very fast deployment very lightweight ergonomic in my hand good pocket clip options great huge lanyard hole and it just gives me kind of that plethora of not only being able to do you know food prep uh you know feather stick making if i needed to for outdoor use uh you know it, as well as self-defense stuff if i had to it's definitely got the traction plan and the blade design to be able to be a tactical self-defense last ditch knife if i had to um, and EDC task because of the nice design of that full flat grind leaf shaped blade uh, You know opening packaging slicing through cardboard does it so fast so easy and you know You're not gonna break the bank. I'm gonna pay you know like 70 bucks for this thing uh, the, That is why if you were to take away all of my folders the uh, Manix to lightweight from spider code definitely be the pocket knife that I would want to keep on me the next thing would be a multi-tool. If you're going to say, all right, what are you going to use as a multi-tool? What would be the one multi-tool you'd keep on you and you get all the rest of them taken away from you? I would stick with my Leatherman Rebar. This thing has a good price point, has a lot of options. It's not huge, heavy, and bulky. Uh, I love it. Let me just show it to you really quick, show you the ins and outs real fast and why I just freaking love this thing. And this would be my go-to uh, Leatherman. So the Leatherman Rebar, why I love it so much, is not only the replaceable teeth and its size and you know capabilities that it has and all the other tools, but it's the saw and the knife. And you may be saying, well, I have plenty of multi-tools that have the saw and the knife. What's the big deal? The big deal is that the way that this thing is designed, I'm going to start out with the knife here, 
is when you collapse it up <clears throat> and get it set up, you can see here that it's a nice, flat, straight multi-tool, just like a normal pocket knife would be, that you can then get a really good grip on and do your cutting tasks, whittling, carving, and really good wood processing stuff. Whereas knives, or excuse me, multi-tools, like say a wave, or in this case, a sidekick, when I open up the blade, the blade is down below, and so it's real close to my hand, so I could easily cut myself because it's all you know stainless steel, so I could hurt myself. And I just don't get a very good grip for wood cutting, wood processing stuff. I would have to kind of like choke up and do this weird move and put my thumb all the way up here, or I got to back up, and it's just not comfortable. I don't like that. And the same is true on the saw. It's easier to access, you know, it's easier to get to. Whoops, that's the knife again. It's easier to get to because I don't have to open the multi-tool like you do on the rebar. But again, the saw blades are going to be very close to my hand and I have to do this weird move to get a good grip. Whereas, again, with your rebar, you may have to open it up and that, you know, kind of sometimes can be a hassle or whatever. But in the long run, I can fold it up and then close it up and I'm good to go and I have this big break here you know to keep myself from hurting myself and then I can have a really good grip and put my thumb right here and do my sawing tasks so particularly for wilderness and survival type of tasks I really like the rebar more than most other leathermen and other designs of other multi-tools because of the way it's designed to be more like a natural knife handle and knife design for either a pocket or a fixed blade uh, than most other multi-tools that kind of have a weird design where the blade is placed Okay, fixed blade, get this question, probably the most out of almost any questions that I get, is what would be my ultimate fixed blade that I would have, if you're gonna take away my whole collection of fixed blades that I used to go out in the wilderness, and I got only one blade to do it all, it would be the SE6. I love this thing. This thing is big enough to take on you know, hard tasks and heavy duty tasks, batoning and chopping, but also small enough and comfortable enough to be able to do lots of carving and whittling. Let me show it to you close up real quick. Guys, the reason why I love my SE6 so much, and in my mind is my go-to blade, is that it's not too big, it's not too small, I can easily carry it on my hip, and it is absolutely capable of handling a lot of hard use, light chopping, batoning, uh, you know, and can still do really fine carving without fatiguing my hand. It's ergonomic, it's very tough, very easy to resharpen, and also comes with a good quality sheath. So it's basically got everything going for it, and I don't have to spend, you know, $400 to get all that stuff. I can spend about $110, $115 bucks, uh, on many different websites, and I'll have a couple links below uh, in this video to show you some of the places you can purchase some of these items but uh, I mean it just has everything going for it and at an amazing price so uh, the SE6 if you took away all my other blades I would absolutely hold on to my SE6 and that would be my go-to blade and then if you were to ask me what one pistol if you were to take away all my other you know firearms uh, that I would carry on me it would be the Smith & Wesson M&P shield 9mm is what I'm rocking this goes with me almost everywhere around town up in the mountains uh, very, you know, compact, lightweight, has good firepower, really accurate. Uh, I really love this thing. I'll just show it to you really close up and personal. So the reason that I love the M&P Shields 9mm so much is that not only is it compact, you know, it's small so I can carry it on my person, I can carry it on hikes, and it's not, you know, going to be this huge cumbersome weight in my chest rig or where, wherever I'm carrying it, and obviously, again, I can conceal carry it around town. Uh, it's a great price. You can buy the 9 or the 40 uh, for under $500 very easily, and I have had great reliability with this thing. I've probably put about five, 6,000 rounds through it and never had it stovepipe or jam on me or any issues whatsoever uh, the sight picture is real nice you know backs up right back here to the end of the the um, slide so I mean it, it's got everything going for it and uh, good trigger pull it's accurate for the size and just everything um, you know that you're kind of looking for in uh, everyday EDC if you will carry uh, pistol and you know when the crap hits the fan that's probably the one that I would want because it's not going to be this huge cumbersome thing nine millimeters very easy to find you know and if everything's going crazy you know in the world uh, you know you could probably find that somewhere um, pretty easily and carry a lot of it uh, at a lesser weight than it would be with, say, like a 45. So uh, I love my M&P Shield 9 millimeter, and I would highly recommend that to anybody. Well, guys, uh, if you took away all the gear and stuff that we've reviewed here on the channel and the things that I own, and you gave me those products that I just showed you, I 
would I could be totally fine. I'd be loving life, and I believe I could handle any situation, regardless if it was wilderness, backpacking, camping, or bug out bag situation, survival situation uh, with flying colors. I'd be able to come out on top because of those gear items that I just showed you. So uh, if you if you were to purchase all those, I think you'd be a happy camper and be able to handle anything this world could throw at you, uh, regardless of the situation. So again, guys, thank you so much. I really pray that this year God blesses you. Thank you again so much for your support uh, and just know that uh, God's looking out for you and that God absolutely loves you because he sent his son Jesus Christ to die for you so that we can have a relationship with God which is so awesome so I just want to thank you guys so much for your um, commitment to this channel to the commitment for what Gideon's Tactical stands for um, you know uh, I'll just touch on that I'm just kind of winging it here uh, you know, for those of you who are new to the channel or new subscribing or have watched this for the first time, uh, Gideon in the Bible, uh, and if those of you who don't know, uh, I'm a preacher by trade. I'm a youth pastor by trade. That's what I do during the week, and then I get the weekends or, you know, free time to come up here and film this stuff for you guys. Um, but uh, in the Bible, in the book of Judges, uh, chapter 6, there's a story about a man named Gideon. And uh, Gideon was just an average guy. You know, he didn't have any talents. He didn't have any abilities. He wasn't some great warrior. And uh, God, God called upon him to uh, free his people Israel from the Midianites who were oppressing them. And uh, I really wanted to name the channel when I first started this channel, Gideon's Tactical. The reason that I named it Gideon's Tactical is because I'm just an average Joe. And most of you out there are just average Joes. I wasn't in the military. Uh, I've never really had any, you know, huge, you know, survival training experience. I'm just learning as I go. I'm just an average guy, just like Gideon. He just had to learn as he go, as he went and just trust God and, uh, you know, kind of had to wing it. And that's uh, what I'm sure a lot of you guys do. And that's what I'm doing here on the channel. I'm figuring things out, learning things and uh, finding it out just like you guys and then you know making the videos and you know helping to inform you and helping you guys to make wise decisions so that's why I named it Gideon's Tactical and then Tactical uh, you know is not necessarily you know like fighting and military you know Tactical just means you're prepared for whatever situation is in front of you um, and you're able to handle it so that's why I called it we're just average Joes just like Gideon and we are here on the channel learning how to handle any situation that may come our way uh, with the gear and products that we review here on Gideon's Tactical. So uh, you guys are awesome. I could keep rambling, I'm sure. I hope you guys enjoy all these bloopers and the clips that we're about to throw on here on the screen. And I hope you guys just enjoy this video. And please subscribe, comment, like, uh, share the videos. And I cannot wait to take you guys on the upcoming journeys and reviews that we're going to be having here at Gideon's Tactical. Tactical. Thanks so much for watching. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you out there. For our campfire, that's what we purchase it for. We do a lot of campfires, and so you know, just kind of dig the fire pit and then put the fire out at the end of the day. And then we'll do some chopping with it too, just kind of show you the utility of the SOG Special Forces. Excuse me. Dang it. <laughs> for Rick! Uh, yeah, dude. I knew that was coming. Give SOG some more uh, props. Cold Steel one. That was awesome! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> That was so good! <laughs> Cut two. Thank Can you I, uh, uh, I might be able to know I'm talking to you. You know, look forward to the... Oh, so good. I know. Doofus! Take two. Gideon's tactical's a doofus. All right, everyone, so you saw that little quick cutting test there. Um, stay tuned. Subscribe. No, because that's stupid, what I'm saying. What the heck am I talking about? Day three. Am I still good? <laughs> nice breast pack, Mr. Gideon's oh, tackle. Oh, hang on. Oh my gosh. Sorry. It's good crap out of me. Saying... No! <laughs> fire! I made fire! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> the aftermath yep. toilet tube bag. <laughs> that is exactly what it is. <laughs> wow, that is a severely needed bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me do the outro and we're done. <laughs> See how well. Hang on. What's, What's the matter with you? Did that little twig right there caught on the leg. Well, then scoot the legs up, goofus. Yeah. Hang on. I gotta get set here. You got your like freaking low rider going here. <laughs> it's faster than your guys' freaking tube loader. One of many options that you can use the SOL blanket for is not only for picnics, but to take a nap.
like my lovely wife. Going strong. Still doing the, the leather gloves. Pick them up at Home Depot, 15 bucks. Let's see here, just trying to knock a few things out, including destroy my, <laughs> my kit for you guys. Forgot it was open. Uh, Tommy. Hi, bud. Yeah, I love you. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, Hanging Lake. Check that out. Woo! Totally worth the wait. here at Gideon's Tactical. Get out there, enjoy the creation that God has given us. Stay equipped, stay prepared. We'll see you.